So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here, and I just went to go see a movie. I saw Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. What? Shang-Chi. Oh, that's how you pronounce the name. Sorry, excuse me. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. It starred Simu Liu, Tony Long, Aquafina, Manger Zhang, Fala Chen, and Michelle Yao, who I know, maybe some of you guys know, is from Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She starred in that movie. And the director was Destin Daniel Cretton. So this movie is basically about Shang-Chi, the master of unarmed weaponry-based kung fu, is forced to confront his past after being drawn into the Ten Rings organization. So I saw this film and I give it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed this film. I liked it. Um, but before I get into anything, I just want to say... I really don't know the story, the backstory of Shang-Chi. I never really read the comics, but after watching this film, now I know more. And I know when they make a movie from the comics, they do enhance it or change it a little bit. But when they make a movie, it is mostly based off the comics. And it was a good story. It was very good. I think Simu Liu, who played Shang-Chi, and Katie, that was played by Aquafina. I think they were fantastic. They definitely played off one of one another. Uh, the chemistry between them was perfect. The comedy was excellent. I mean, even I was laughing. It was really good. The characters of Michelle Yao and Tony Leung was excellent too. Tony Leung, of course, played the father in this film, and he was also the villain. And once you know who he really is by his real name, if you saw this movie, or if you do see, I'm not going to say it because there's no spoilers, you're going to be amazed. I was in shock when I heard the real name. And this movie, of course, is packed with action CGI, but the action shots were excellent. And let me just tell you, the bus fighting scene was perfect it was excellent how they did that i don't know how but i really enjoyed it i like i said i think the fight scenes with the kung fu and how they did all that their style and it was it was it was really beautiful it really was how they played that and how it was directed the cinematography the fighting scenes excellent job and I like the storyline, the backstory. I like how they kept going back and forth to when Shang-Chi was a kid. He was a teenager and then back to present day and then going back. It really explained everything of how he trained and how he became Shang-Chi. And just a little bit going back to the fighting scenes. Like I said, it really reminded me of... Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, how they fought in that movie was almost very similar how it was in this movie. It was very good. But, you know, there are some th things in the movie that you could see that was really CGI, but how, they, how it was presented and just the mythology or the magical part of it was very nice. And it actually felt like it took you to another world. Of course, that was the whole purpose. And there are cameos in this movie. I'm, I'm telling you right now, when the first cameo came, I was like, oh, okay. That was pretty good. Now it all makes sense. And then when the other one came, I was like, they got him back. I can't believe he's back for this movie. That really shocked me. But like I said, I don't want to give away any spoilers. You just have to see this movie to find out who it is. But I will give you a little hint. It does tie into the Iron Man movies. That's all I'm going to say. And also there is a mid credit scene 
and a post credit scene, so stay after for that. But otherwise, that's it. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it, like I said in the beginning. Do I recommend to see this film? Yes, because it does tie into everything else. It really does. And if you've seen all the other Marvel movies, it will make sense. But if you don't want to see it in a movie theater, of course, the Disney Plus, wait until it comes on Hulu, Demand, Netflix, Amazon Prime, anything else is out there. It's definitely a must see. Go see it. And now it's time for fun facts. This is director Destin Daniel Cretton's first commercial action film project. Also, this was going to be made by Paramount Pictures before Disney bought Marvel. In the late 1980s, Stan Lee had considered a film TV series about Shang-Chi and had in mind Brandon Lee, son of martial artist Bruce Lee, for the role. Shang-Chi was visually based on Bruce Lee. This is the 25th film of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Shang-Chi is the first superhero film with an Asian leading protagonist for Marvel Studios. And finally, one of the undercard fighters in Xiling's club has been enhanced with the extremist treatment from Iron Man 3, which came out in 2013. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell. It will notify you when the next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes!